Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 948. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have a column with numbers, names, and the insurer name is inside of these parentheses. So for each one of these cells, I, in essence, want to look up the insurer name inside the parentheses. Or another way to think about this is, how do we extract just that one bit of text from this larger text string? Now, there's lots of ways we could do this, lots of different formulas. I'm going to use the replace and the substitute function. And we'll use them together, but and we'll compare and contrast replace and substitute. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, use the replace to replace all of that with nothing. Now, the replace function will ask you, at which character do you want to start, and then how many characters through would you like to go? Okay, so the first thing is replace, use the replace function, replace that with nothing. And then we'll use the substitute function to search for the occurrence of a closed parentheses and replace, uh, substitute in for that a blank or nothing. All right, let's look at the replace. Replace. Now, the replace would give it the old text, comma. And for replace, it wants the start number and then the number of characters to go. So I'm going to say start at 1, comma, and the number of characters. I need to use the search function to find that open parentheses. Now search is another function that all it does is it goes into a text string and finds a particular character and tells you at what position. So that's perfect. Search, find what text. I'm going to, in double quotes, open parentheses, in double quotes. So that's the text I'm looking for comma within this. Now search, all it does is deliver the position of that character. So if I highlight this and hit the F9 key, 17. So that, that parentheses is uh, 17. And as we copy it down, it'll be dynamic. Now check this out. Replace is very different than substitute because it wants to know the uh, starting position and how many characters. Oh, I hope I can control Z. Control Z. I don't want to leave that in. All right, And then once it knows the start and the end, it says, what's your new text? And I'm going to do double quote, which is a null text string, which means nothing. Right? It, take it and put nothing there. So watch this, Control Enter. Now I've got everything except for that last parentheses. Now I'm going to use substitute, right? Because substitute I can look in a text string, and any time it finds a particular character, it can replace it with something. So I'm going to say, around the replace sub substitute. What's the text? That's it. Now watch this. right? Comma, what's the old text? That, in this case, is double quote, close parentheses, double quote. That's the text I want to find and uh, get rid of. Comma, and the new text. Again, we're going to use this null text string, double quote, double quote. That just means uh, nothing in this case. It'll it won't put anything there. All right, you ready? Control Enter, double click, and send it down. All right, so there's one way to uh, extract insurance name or look up the insurance name within parentheses in a larger text string. All right, we'll see you next video.